there's some news about that new Mac Pro that the production of it is going to move to China. So we've been talking so much about the, the Huawei beef, the Huawei ban, and of course the trade situation between the US and China. And this is kind of a, this is kind of a funny move. Now, probably the wheels were in motion for this prior to the trade situation getting as crazy as it has. But in an environment in which companies are rapidly trying to move production or come up with alternative plans away from Chinese production, Apple is doing the opposite thing in which the previous trash can Mac Pro uh, was manufactured or at least assembled in the US. It was a big deal. It was a big press release. In 2013, everyone said they couldn't do it and they're like, we're going to do it. And they, they made the trash can Mac Pro in Austin, Texas. Uh, I thought it was kind of a cool endeavor. The idea of it, people wondered if it would be possible. Apple has said in the past that they're capable of doing more in the US if they want to. I think the Mac Pro represented an easy initial opportunity because of the volume structure. Then you don't you're, you're never expecting to sell a boatload of them. See how the boatload came back there? Well, you, you, you knew it was going to be a niche product, at least in comparison to their high, mar, uh, uh, high volume stuff like uh, iPhones and, and so forth. But they're giving up on that idea. Uh, the company that was responsible for that uh, previous generation Mac, I believe they're called Flex. There's no, no, no new uh, plans for them to have any play, any input into the, the new Mac Pro. Instead, a company called Quanta, I believe is the name of it, based in China near Shanghai is going to manufacture the next generation $6,000 Mac Pro. Of course, parts are going to come from all over the world, but the final assembly will take place in China like it does for every other, every other Mac, iPhone, and so on as it stands right now. Apple said it supports manufacturing in the U.S., though, because it says, hey, we spent $60 billion last year with 9,000 U.S. suppliers. So, yeah, of course. Tech is a global marketplace. The pieces come from all over the place. Now, Trump, I'd assume he's not too happy with it. According to the Wall Street Journal here, uh, Trump was hoping and, and, and he was uh, discussing with Tim Cook uh, the idea that they would bring big plants back to the U.S., uh, three big plants, big and beautiful plants. That's got to be Trump's words. <laughs> A claim that Apple declined to comment on, but, uh, you know, he wanted he, him, they, that, that mindset in general is looking for more U.S. manufacturing. That's the whole campaign that Trump ran on, obviously, job creation. But what he was targeting wasn't necessarily the Mac Pro, but instead the, the high volume stuff that I just mentioned, the, the iPhone, iPads or Macs, something like this, like the laptops, let's say. But none of that's happened yet, and Apple appears to be completely fine with the with having their stuff manufactured in China at the moment. Even though we've we've heard some reports that they're exploring other options, there's at least now evidence that 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 those options won't apply to the Mac Pro. What does it mean? It means an even more expensive Mac Pro. If this tariff situation takes place, 25% tariff, and you're start you're talking about a six thousand dollar price tag. Now you see where I'm going here, Will. Mm -hmm. Some of these uh, custom order CTO Mac Pro orders might see a few extra bucks uh, attached, to the, attached to the invoice on that one. So anyhow, worth noting. We'll see what happens in Japan, Osaka, G20. Maybe it'll sort it all out and uh, your Mac Pro can stay at 6000 bucks.